Welcome to Data Doctor's video, Mr. E figures out find a grave. Please note, the merits of find a grave as a source are not discussed in this video. Only that the find a grave reference used in a profile has generated suggestions and how to address those differences. This index lists beginning times of each segment so you can fast forward to any of particular interest. Mr. E just set up a profile for his great-great-grandfather, Grandpa Grump E. He's found a lot of sources, including a find-a-grave memorial. The next week, he got a suggestion that the date of birth doesn't agree with find-a-grave's date. It's off by one year. Mr. E doesn't understand why he has to change Grandpa Grumpy's Wikitrieve profile to match Findagrave. He has documentation for the birth year. Relax, Mr. E. Wikitree doesn't expect a profile to be changed just to match Findagrave data. It only shows differences so the profile managers can double check their dates and sources. If the profile is correct, the find a grave information isn't used. As a note, it is recommended to contact the find a grave's manager with corrections, and they can amend the memorial. Matching two databases, Wikitree and Find a Grave, driven by hundreds of thousands of people, creates a complex process of statistics to determine if the Find a Grave link is on the correct profile. It is summarized as follows. There are several ways Wikitree detects a Find a Grave memorial ID on a profile. The Wikitree Find a Grave template, the memorial URL in its new format, the memorial URL in its old format, and various standard citations from FamilySearch or find a grave If the find a grave URL is found in the biography, Wikitree looks for a memorial on find a grave If none is listed, as in the case with the first URL in the find a grave source, then a suggestion is generated. That's why the first URL needs to be deleted. But, for a link with a memorial number, each field in the Wikitree data section is compared to that on the memorial – name, birth date and place, and death date and place. If there is a variance on the name or dates, or find a grave has a place of birth or death, but those fields on the profile are blank, different suggestions are generated. However, if the place fields on the profile are filled in, Wikitree doesn't look for a match of exact terms, just that a place is listed and doesn't generate a suggestion. If this process of statistics fails to determine that the link belongs to the profile, it is assumed to be an incorrect match. That could be due to a typo which links to the wrong grave or the memorial belongs to a relative, which leads us to templates. If there is one link that matches the profiled person, the basic template is used. Curly brackets, find a grave text, vertical bar, memorial number, and closed curly brackets. If there are multiple links, but one is correct for the profile, the basic template is still used for all of them. That is because the statistical process identifies the correct link and doesn't concern itself with the others. If there is one link that belongs to the profile but doesn't match the memorial, use the template same as equals yes. Suggestions will be generated for the differences but there won't be one for an incorrect link. If there are one or more links to relatives, but none for the profiled person, 
use the same as equals no template. No suggestions will be generated for those links. So, Mr. E, remember that find a grave suggestions are used to ensure the profile is as accurate as possible, and using the correct find a grave template will help. I'm sure Grandpa Grumpy is proud of his new profile. You did very well. You are invited to like this video and even leave a comment if you wish. Also, keep up to date with new videos by subscribing to our WikiTree YouTube channel. On behalf of the Data Doctors Project, thank you for watching.